Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Rare on Air Stories. In this weekly series, we will shine a light on the stories of people living with a rare disease. I'm your host, Liz Pernin, and in today's episode, we will hear Natalia's story. My name is Natalia, and I'm from Bulgaria. After a 14-year journey in the pulmonary hypertension world, I can say that it is a long and unplanned journey full of surprises, which turns you into a wise giraffe. I have faced all the hardships that this disease can throw at you. I often wonder why an illness found in 1891 by the German pathologist Ernst von Rumberg still remains incurable to this day. Fate is strong and strange and unexplainable. When I was 38 years old, I found myself in a hospital for the first time and I had the incredible luck of discovering that I had a rare disease, which means I am unable to move without getting short of breath and have blue lips. My life turned upside down and for about six months I was lost. Then I told myself, I can handle this. There are other people like me. In 2012, a group of friends and I founded the Bulgarian Society of Patients with Pulmonary Hypertension, of which I'm currently the chairman. As a terminally ill patient, I read a lot, and I hoped to wake up to the news that somewhere in the world some research team had finally discovered the magic cure for my condition. I looked forward to seeing what stage the various pharmaceutical company studies would reach. I myself was part of some such studies. In my country, they say hope dies last, but gradually I realised that the therapy I was receiving was not effective. My body took on an unnatural colour, I did not have the strength to walk 200 metres without resting. Usually the nurses in hospitals asked me if I went to the solarium often. They didn't think it was one of the main symptoms of pulmonary hypertension. I used to have seizures and people wondered how a young woman with no visible symptoms could just pass out on the street. For two years I received troposidin therapy, which was not available in my country. I became a health immigrant in Greece to receive this therapy. On March 9th, 2016, I received the greatest gift a person can receive, a new life. It was given to me by my donor. Now I have a new, better and more meaningful life because of him. But I continue to help pulmonary hypertension patients who are always fighting for their lives. It was a great challenge, but Dr. Dmitriov, who was the patient in charge of my case, encouraged me to bravely enter the patient movement. I cannot be certain but I feel he was correct in encouraging me to train my brain every day to avoid falling into a deep depression, which unfortunately overtakes many people who have pulmonary hypertension. With the distance of time, I know that patient organisations are one of the main facilitators for newly diagnosed patients. At present, I'm a wise giraffe that looks down and enjoys every moment and never forgets the hardships that I went through to get to this point. Hugs from Bulgaria, Natalia. You have been listening to an episode of Rare On Air Stories, a weekly bonus series of Rare On Air, a monthly podcast by Eurodis Rare Diseases Europe. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, you can listen to one of our weekly episodes that are published throughout the Rare Disease Day campaign. If you would like us to feature your story in this podcast and on our social media channels, don't hesitate to submit it on our website. Make sure to subscribe.